Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today I'm gonna show you how to customize your nose. Alright, so today we're gonna see how to customize this really cool new nodes that uh, we got with uh, Houdini 16. And as you can see, uh, these nodes have different uh, shapes and stuff that uh, from previous versions of Houdini. And if you press S over the uh, network view here, you can get a palette of shapes here. You can select any node and change the shape of it, right? So that's one way to change it. But so this shape is just temporary. As soon as you create maybe another file sub, let's create another file sub. You can see the the icon or the shape goes back to the different or the default shape. But you can see this my output node here by default has this kind of shape, but I don't like that. So, but when I create a new out a new node, you can see this it's already rounded and it's also a little bit of a purplish color. So also my uh, geometry nodes are this tilted square that I actually like more. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, just to clarify, we are not going to see how to make custom shapes like this one or this one. For that, please go watch this amazing tutorial here by Bastian J. Schieffer or Schieffer. Uh, I will put the link in the notes, but what we're going to do today is take the shape and make it the default shape instead of uh, any shape that comes with Houdini. We're basically going to make a change of the shape by default. So for this, we need to edit one single file and let me show you this file. The file we're going to modify is in my Houdini folder, my preferences folder in my home directory. And this, this file here that I actually created which is called, let me make this icon bigger, and it's called OP Customize here. And it has to be named like this, capital OP Customize. If we open this guy, you can see it's just a bunch of a uh, little bit of commands here. Or let me just make this a little bit more readable like this. But it's pretty simple stuff. You can see it. I have the custom shapes here section and one section for colors and one section for renames. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with this file. And how I actually know how to do this stuff, it's just by going to the Houdini installation folder, go to the Houdini installation folder, and then you should find an OP customized file there. And if you browse the file, which is this one right here, you can see there's a bunch of stuff that is happening here. You can just kind of go and read the comments and, and you, you're going to know what's happening there. I'm just going to tell you what, uh, I've, what I've done, but you can go and customize it uh, further with uh, these commands here. You can take stuff from here and customize it uh, on your own. All right, in my file here, I'm going to minimize this and make this bigger. I'm just de declaring the custom shapes I'm going to use. You can see this op default shape. It's the uh, command that makes the, the uh, default shape. And in this case, the object level here, which is this, referring to, let's take this, referring to this object node here, has the default shape of tilted. And here, now the second one is in the object, inside object, the null, uh, null it's gonna have the circle. Uh, and also the, uh, in, in SOPs, the null it's gonna have a circle as well and uh and here i'm i'm just setting the uh attribute wrangle to have the beer just for fun just to show you guys here and the uh in the color section here you can see the op default color it's saying to the sub null node it's giving it this color by default so when we create a null node here you can see no it's this purplish color so you can put whatever color you want there now in the rename section, this rename it's saying the first name of the of the sub null node is gonna be out. Since we are always renaming the sub uh, the null to out, why not have that name by default? You can see that's the default name here. Uh, by default it's gonna be null, but since we are always renaming this because it's uh, best practice to have that by default, then we are just creating. Uh, the rubber uh, geometry 
I'm just renaming that to Roberto just for fun as well. And so you can see that's pretty simple. Please go and check the other file that I told you about and you can see more examples. You can do a ton of stuff with this, but this is just going to be a little simple example of this. You can go ahead and customize it further yourself. And let me show you here. I have the Houdini folder where that stuff should be in your installation folder in your Houdini folder. There's a bunch of stuff. You can see this is very similar to the uh, user directory. You can see there's the DSO files here, the config, the OTLs. Uh, your custom shapes will be around here as well. Uh, inside config, uh, shapes, node shapes. Here's the shapes. In your home directory, you just create a config node shapes and you put your shapes there. But you can see that's pretty simple. Now, if I create a test geometry, you can see that's named Roberto. This one is called no and has a, a color. And you can see this node even has like a little tint of blue. That's been done in the uh, in that file as well. By default in with Houdini, you can see if I put a wrangle, it has the custom beer icon there. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is just a quick uh, tip here. But you can see uh, the power you can have with this. A lot of people customize different nodes and, and add different colors for different stuff. Uh, there's other ways to do this with scripting and Python and creation scripts and stuff. But this is way simpler to add all this stuff. Plus, it's a configuration file that you can just paste and, and share with your friends or paste around and just send it really, really, really fast. All right, guys, uh, let's keep learning together. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.